All right, so we made it to Raymond James Stadium. This is the home of the Royal Rumble Superstore. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. This was actually really easy to get in and access. I had a feeling this was gonna be really crowded in terms of parking, but we pulled right up. We have a spot like basically right outside of the store. Hey everybody, today we are in beautiful, sunny Tampa Bay, Florida, and we're doing something that we have never done before. We're going to a premium live event for the WWE. It is one of the biggest ones. It is the Royal Rumble. I am so excited. I've been a huge wrestling fan my entire life. I've been to Raw, we've been to SmackDown, we've done that together, Yeah. but we've never been to a pay-per-view slash premium live event, and tonight's gonna be the first one. Yeah, and the Royal Rumble, like you are gonna be able to see so many people, so I'm really excited. We'll get to see some of our favorites, maybe some like old school people that haven't been wrestling in a while. Yeah. But first, yeah, we came out to um, Raymond James Stadium and in Tampa, and this is where the store is. So we are gonna check out what they have inside. So we made it inside. It is really, really crowded, but we're gonna go around, try and show as much as we can. It's pretty cool. They got a Royal Rumble zip up sweatshirt let's see what the back looks like st petersburg 2024 of course you got the cm punk t-shirts and for 100 bucks you could do your best damian priest impression they have the senior money in the bank briefcases <laughs> should say senorita yeah. money in the bank there's a bunch of chalk line merchandise over here they make the coolest jackets this one is the heartbreak kid Shawn michaels i love these but down here in florida we wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to wear them all too much, but the designs are really cool. There's a whole bunch of wrestling figures. They have a bunch of Funko Pops here as well. Here's the wrestling figures. They have some elites, some basic figures. Man, I had so many of these as a kid. They even have plushies of Cody Rhodes' dog. And you can see it has a little American Nightmare bandana on there. That is so funny. Look at all of the championship belts that they have behind the register. Some of these are $500, $1,000. Those are awesome. Look at the NWO one. That was always one of my favorites, and it has the Hogan nameplate. $150, I can become mommy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that they were gonna have like costume stuff here. There it is. We gotta go find a Dom shirt. That's what I'm looking for. And the Royal Rumble's taking place over at Tropicana Field, which of course is a baseball stadium. So they have these baseball pillows with the date on it. St. Petersburg slash Tampa Bay, Florida. So this is pretty neat. It's $175 and it comes in a case that's in the shape of a ray because of course the Trop is where the Tampa Bay Rays play. And it's like a little mini commemorative belt. It says, I was there, Royal Rumble. That's really cool. They have a section over here of autograph items. Look how awesome this signed Stone Cold photo is. Him smashing the beer cans together. They have some more things too. They have an Undertaker, Undertaker and Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania. Looks like there's some signed Cody Rhodes belts too. This is neat. Okay, file this under the most random thing we've seen here. They have a Logan Paul wig. They also have some like old school wrestling buddies they're not exactly like the ones I used to have as a kid, but they have Stone Cold, The Undertaker, and it looks like there's one more John Cena left. So we are leaving the Superstore now. We kind of struck out there, and I saw some photos of stuff that they had, and a lot of it is not there anymore. And the Superstore has been here for a couple of days. I think it went up like Thursday or Friday, something like that. So if you are going to a WWE pay-per-view, something big like SummerSlam, The Rumble, WrestleMania, and you want specific things, go to the store early because a lot of it's already gone. The good news is a lot of that merchandise and hopefully some more is gonna be over at the store at Tropicana Field. So we have plenty of time to kill. It's like 4.30, the show doesn't start till late. I think we're gonna go get a little bite to eat, maybe some coffee and head over to the Trop. So if you guys are one of our normal viewers, you know this isn't normally something that we would put out on our channel, but we figured, you know what, it's a new year. We're gonna start showing some more things that we do outside of like the theme parks and some of our other interests. So you're probably wondering, I had no idea you guys were wrestling fans, but we are. Well, I wasn't originally, <laughs> but now that Matt is, he's always been in it since he was little yeah. and he watches it every week. So now I've been watching it and I have to admit, I am very into it now. And I'm so excited to see some of my favorites tonight. She used to make fun of me when we first started, <laughs> you know, dating and obviously ultimately getting married, but she always used to make fun of me and be like, I don't know how you watch this. Like, this is so corny, but I'm telling you when wrestling is good, there is nothing better mm -hmm. 
than wrestling, especially the WWE. So like I said, we're going to make our way over to the Trop now, and hopefully they have some of the merchandise in there that we weren't able to get over here at Raymond James. And we have made it to Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays. And tonight, home of the WWE Royal Rumble. You go to a concert and you tailgate, you play the music of the artist you're gonna go see. You come to a wrestling show, you got Cody Rhodes' theme. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Lines are super long, the gates just open. We're trying to figure out where to go. There's just like a sea of people. That was pretty easy. We got in one of the shorter lines and here we are, about to scan it. We are on the hunt to try and find the Ray's team store because some of the merch that they had at the stands wasn't that great or it was a lot of like stuff that they had over at the Superstore and just like generic Cody Rhodes stuff and CM Punk stuff. So we're trying to find some more merch. All right, looks like we found it. There's a decently long line to get in. So we'll see how long this takes. We have plenty of time though. It's only about 5.5. So we made it inside of the stadium store. We're gonna see how different this is versus what was over at Raymond James. I already see a half and a Mayan. Look at these, they have a football jersey, I guess for the Tampa Bay Bucks, and then they also have a baseball jersey over here in the color of the Rays uniforms. Those are really nice. So here's some of the hats, a couple of these they didn't have over at the Superstore, like this cream colored one over there, and these blue ones. I don't think they had these over there either. Check this out, they even have the official program. I feel like back in the day, programs were such a big deal. Every event I used to go to, I used to always get the program. And then inside has all the different pictures of the wrestlers. It's really nice. I like that tank top a lot. What do you guys think? Well, it's too late. By the time the video goes out, you either bought it or you passed. But I, I wish that design was on a men's shirt. That's really cool. Yeah, like on a t-shirt? Yeah, I like that a lot. Did they have it? Maybe they just sold out. Yeah, I thought I saw something. Maybe it's on the website. Picked up a couple of things over in the team store, and now we're getting a look at the layout of the arena. This looks amazing. Look at all the lights. There's the ring right there in the middle. Our seats are like somewhere over here in this vicinity. We're gonna grab a bite to eat, but look how cool this is. This place is gonna be rocking in about an hour and a half. So we finally made it over to our seats. We got some pretty good seats over here. We're in section 123. We're like directly behind the WrestleMania sign. That's gonna be the sign that they point to when they win. But we got an awesome view of the ring right there. Those two screens in red, that's where the entrances are gonna be coming out of the raised dugout, what is normally the raised dugout. These are awesome seats. So we picked up a couple of shirts in the store, but also wanted to show you this. They were selling autographed CM Punk photos for only $25. I feel like for 25 bucks, it's an awesome steal. CM Punk's like one of the hottest superstars right now. All right, before it starts, we have 15 minutes. Who's your predictions, men's and women's? Okay, um, for the women, I think Bianca Belair, and I, she's one of my favorites, so I hope she wins. And then for the men, I feel like it's either going to be CM Punk or Cody's not in it, right? Yeah, he's in it. Oh, or Cody. I think one of them.
It's now the next morning. We had an amazing time last night at the Royal Rumble. It was, like I said, our first ever premium live event experience. It was everything I could have hoped for. Young Matt, the little kid inside of me, was out in full force last night and both Alex and I had an amazing time. The men's rumble was great. The women's rumble was great. Didn't get a lot of like surprise returns. We had a couple in the women's and a couple in the men's. Um, no real legends came back, but I will say that's because the WWE roster is so strong right now. So they don't have to rely on like some legend that you know has no chance to win it. They're filling those spots with people from NXT and people on the main roster who are really, really good right now. So like I said, it was a great time last night. We had so much fun. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us as well. If you did, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on all of our future videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.